Hey, I'm back from uh, Easy Creations. It was a long drive, completely worth it. Thanks to Ulrich and John for showing me around, hooking me up with this badass t-shirt, um, band kits for our whole team, and uh, a bunch of stickers. And more importantly, let me use your uh, laser engraving machine. That was awesome. I got some cool clips to show you guys later, um, as well as the finished product on what I got done on some of my gear. We're going to do uh, an installation of the 2.0 kit. I'll go through more detail on what's in the package uh, from top down view and um, show you an installation on my events masks here. And uh, it's my first time, so bear with me. Uh, if I seem a little clumsy, that's, that's just my first time too. So. Um, we'll see how it goes. Should be easy, as they assured me it would be. Um, so we got that, got some laser etching done, had a great time with those guys. Um, didn't get to spend a whole heck of a lot of time there, but um, time, is, uh, time is money. So without uh, wasting your time, let's get on with the show. Okay, so now I have the fans kit here. I've opened it up. A nice plastic uh, bag there. Got uh, instructions here. Pretty much looked over it already. Business card with uh, Ulrich and John's contact info on it. Great bunch of guys. If anything goes wrong, so replace uh, anything you have that uh, has gone wrong on the fans. Fully warranted. Uh, cool sticker. Put on my stuff. And here you have it. Here's the install kit. You get your fans, the tie straps, um, some small bolts. I'm assuming to hard uh, hard mount, I guess, through your mask if. Uh, doesn't have the vents on the top like mine does. So I wear a visor on mine. What I'm going to want to do is make sure that uh, the fans fit between there. So kind of line it up. Grab a marking device. So you don't have to guess. I got a crayon here. I'm going to put it there and there just so that that fits in between. I use a crayon, whatever you got. So, um, since this back does remove, I don't think I want to thread the, the wiring harness through it. We'll see though. And there's two sides. The sticker side is the direction it blows. So if the sticker's down, then it'll blow down. I think I'm going to put it so that it's facing down. It's going to go here. And then kind of use it to... Uh, Pull down the other wire. They do give you a couple extra straps, so if you need to uh, secure it better, I think I'm going to take the wire, put it in there. And there you have it, pretty much it. Clip off these strayways, use side cutters, scissors, whatever you got. So there you have it. Fans 2.0 installed. I've got a battery here. I've got a Velcro patch on the back. This is to hold it to the strap. So what we're gonna do is open that like that. Got your instructions there, which way to place it. It's pretty, you can't screw this up. So slip that in and push it upwards until the contacts are held in. Holds it in nicely, it won't rattle around. Aha, yes, very nice. Okay, um, so I'll go ahead and put uh, the mask back together here. I took this off, make everything easy. I'm going to show you actually is turn this on and you won't hear a thing. Absolutely 100% quiet. This is amazing. I can feel a definite little breeze blowing up against. Very nice. 
Now, uh, I don't know what works better, if it's blowing in, blowing out. Like I said, I don't use fans all that often, but I'm going to start. Like I said, using them a lot more. So we'll get those in. Right side. All in all, a very nice, tiny, compact unit. Really and then this, I'll basically just strap to the back here like this. Now, use the extra... zip tie you got and maybe zip tie uh, that to that or uh, this just goes over the back the half on there very nice just like that and there you have it fans install so that's it for the Easy Fans uh, install. Pretty simple, straightforward. Fits on nice still. Easy to turn on and off. Feels good. Anyway, while I was there visiting the boys, Ulrich and John, they uh, they have a cold laser etching machine. Very cool process. If you haven't seen it before, I got some cool video clips of that. Um, got my VMAX done with uh, my team logo of the weasels you can see that and you feel it a little bit it's not like a sticker it won't peel off won't break got my rotor done both sides um only, it didn't take very long once you have the images got the, the born to kill full metal jacket helmet on there i don't know if you can see that tank rig done and then uh, my T9 is the only uh, real piece I did any sort of real work on. Got the Boondock Saints, uh, the hands and the rosary, the Celtic Cross, Veritas, Aquitas. Um, and then this is uh, yeah, labeled the barrel. So if you know the T9.1 can switch from hopper to first strike back to hopper. So that's just to avoid any confusion, let me know. What, uh, what I'm shooting at the time. Um, other than that, yeah, I'll leave you with some cool video of it being done, the process. I videotaped it. And um, if you liked what you see, please rate, comment, subscribe, press that like button, follow us on Facebook. I'll post the links down below, um, as well as the Easy Fan link to the web page and the Facebook page. Good guys, you should get in contact with them if you're looking for fans. If not, get in contact with us. We do uh, we do sell them as well. So.